Oi, mano. Tudo bem? We finally reached the biggest city in Brazil, Sao Paulo. The biggest city in all of the Americas, in fact. Bigger than New York, bigger than Mexico City, bigger than all of them. So I just got here, and I've only got about 48 hours in the city. And my first impressions are, I like it. It's a lot nicer than I was expecting. So we're gonna go and take a nice little casual tour of the city and see what we can find. No plans in mind. Let's just go wherever the wind takes us. Vamos. Vamos lá. Alright. Our first impressions of the city of Sao Paulo. It seems like a very serious city. It feels like a legit place. Also, a lot of the people here look vaguely Italian. I feel like I'm back in Buenos Aires in Argentina. I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed with Sao Paulo. Look at this walkway I'm walking on, along the highway. Perfectly designed, with the trees protruding out perfectly. Perfectly shaped holes to allow them out. And I don't see any trash anywhere. I'm sure the homeless people are somewhere, but they're not here. All right, so all the Brazilians I've met said they're supposed to have really good pizza here. Because, you know, they got all these people of Italian descent. Some have even claimed it's better than pizza in New York. I don't know about that. We're about to do a taste test. I like I'm like surrounded by all these Italian looking Brazilians drinking wine on their lunch break. <laughs> what a change. It's really hard to grip this. There you have it. We're not even in Brazil. We're in Italy. Man, there's so many people of Italian descent in this city that they have an entire giant supermarket dedicated to Italian import products. There's so many people of Italian descent in Sao Paulo that when they speak Portuguese, they speak it almost with like an Italian accent. Kind of like how Argentinians speak Spanish with an Italian accent. It's wild. Oh man. This city is just... really nice. It's too developed. Oh man. I don't feel like vlogging here. I feel like going and looking for investment capital for my startup company. I feel like working on my 401k, buying a house. This is the city of suits, not the city of Carnival. Yeah, this could seriously be downtown Manhattan. Now, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That's how nice it is here. From my perspective right now, granted I've only been here for less than a day, I can't see why anybody would immigrate from here. And it feels relatively safe on top of that. But that's just my opinion. Let's go and find out what the people living here think. What the Brazilians think. Você acha que São Paulo, em geral, é seguro ou perigoso? Perigoso. Perigoso. Não, eu morri de medo. Aqui eu me sinto mais tranquilo, mas... Ah, oh, ok. Ah, ok. É porque é perigoso. Porque 
você não pode nem ficar com o vidro do carro aberto que você tá correndo perigo, um assalto de moto, em qualquer lugar você tá desse jeito. Ok, entendo. Você quer emigrar para outro país, se pode? Por enquanto não, mas se eu tiver uma oportunidade legal, provavelmente. Em geral, você acha que São Paulo é seguro ou perigoso? Perigoso. Perigoso? Ok. Ah, por favor. Você não pode andar com o celular na mão, mas você não vai. Você quer emigrar para outro país? Eu tenho bastante vontade, inclusive hoje eu tenho dinheiro para isso. Você acha que São Paulo é seguro ou perigoso? Depende de onde você está. Ok. Depende do, da parte da cidade? Isso. Ok. Você quer emigrar a outro país ou ficar aqui? Se der oportunidade, a gente vai embora. Well, that's an interesting art project. Em geral, você acha que São Paulo é seguro ou perigoso? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand you. You understand me? What? Uh... Ok. Uh... In general, do you think Sao Paulo is safe or dangerous? Uh, ah, dangerous. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, in uh, this area is dangerous. Uh, okay. But other parts, it is dangerous? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay, yeah. It feels safe to me. I don't know. Uh, the other question is, where are you from originally? From Russia. Russia. Oh, okay. <laughs> Privyat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to immigrate to another country, or it seems like you already did to Brazil? Yeah, no, I uh, um, travel uh, in São Paulo uh, three uh, months ago. Three months. You you've been here for three months. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you came here in February. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Did, do you mind if I ask? Did you come because of the war, or? Uh, I learned the English uh, five or six lessons. <laughs> okay. Sorry, right. you have a nice day. Okay. Thank you. Have a good Probably should have kept that line of questioning going and asked in Russian. <laughs> But uh, this is not a Russia Ukraine video. In general, what do you think is Sao Paulo seguro or perigoso? Depends. Depends. Depende de que? Posso perguntar? Depende do lugar, depende da... Aqui, aqui é tranquilo. Aqui é tranquilo, ok. Sim, mas é um lugar que você tem que ter Se você tivesse a oportunidade, você quer emigrar a outro país ou ficar aqui em São Paulo? <risos> Vou falar uma coisa, do jeito que está o Brasil agora, nessa eleição agora, vamos falar, depende de quem ganhar, eu, eu, eu não ficaria aqui no Brasil. Ok. Depende? Depende de mim. Ok. Principalmente se for a bandeira vermelha. A bandeira vermelha. <laughs> ok. Obrigado, senhor. É. Sim. Well, that's not a great sign. When every single person I talk to thinks that Sao Paulo is dangerous and they've at least thought about emigrating. Huh. And I didn't cut anybody out. That's every single person I talk to. to visit like what's considered to be the Japanese section of the city and uh, all of a sudden it got a lot grittier okay, so okay, so it's a fashion film fashion film? yes, this is upcycling oh, okay. okay so it's more like the place Slightly more Japanese, slightly less like the Brazilian version of Skid Row. So yeah, this neighborhood, Libadaji, was the original neighborhood that all the Japanese immigrants came to in Sao Paulo. And it's known as the epicenter of the Brazilian-Japanese community. I'm trying to buy like a little backpack so I can store all my cachaça bottles in. Oh, 
Minhas rodinhas tudo diferente. E quanto é? 120. 120. 100, pode ser. 120. Não posso negociar. Oi? Não posso negociar. Vai ser de 10 próximos. Vou Algo para proteger o celular. A tela? Sim. Tem. Película? Sim. Como tem que ver? A 12. Sim, a tela. Como se diz? Tem tela? É. Tela. Você não é daqui? Não, eu sou do São Paulo. Estive aqui dois meses. Ah, você está aqui dois meses? Sim. Nossa, seu português está muito bom. Ah, obrigado. Já estudou antes ou você aprendeu com convívio? Ah, esse tem um pouco antes de escrever, mas a maioria é aqui. Ah, entendi. Sim. E vocês são de São Paulo? Eu sou de São Paulo, ela é da China. Ah, de China. Ela então, fala português na melhor que eu tenho. É. <risos> Muito eu tempo. mais tempo. Mais tempo? Okay. Eu ia. Ok. O Ju Gonçalo. O Ju Gonçalo. Não é a Dida, não é a Puta Rua. Não é a Dida, não é a Puta Rua. Não é a Puta Rua, não é a Puta Rua. Não é a Puta Rua, não é a Puta Rua. Não, 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 Tamanho <音> Quando 中国福建福建哦你会说中文我会说巴西喜欢吗嗯还可以吧还可以的你们在这里多了多了很高很高我的孩子也是在美国生的哦他有个小孩子在美国去上的是的是的哦可以哇他在美国 If there's one random fact that people from Sao Paulo love to tell you. Seriously, this is their favorite fact. It's that Sao Paulo is home to the largest Japanese community outside of Japan. And that's true. In the early 1900s, hundreds of thousands of Japanese immigrants came here to Sao Paulo. That's more than the immigrants that went to the United States. And the Japanese went on to play an important part in the development of the economy here in Brazil. Nowadays, I'm told, they're the richest single ethnicity in the country. And you don't really find many people of Japanese descent here in the Japanese neighborhood anymore, as you just saw. But there's still lots of little cool shops like this. Towa. Emporio Oriental. Something that's kind of cool is the influence that Japanese had on Portuguese in Brazil. Like, for example, they call soy sauce shoyu or moyoji shoyu. That's actually the word in Japanese. Show you for soy sauce. They call chopsticks hashi. Same word in Japanese. Fun stuff. Oh. <laughs> She's got a sword in there that's actually labeled the master sword. Oh, awesome. 
I love this. Master Sword from Zelda. Wow. Awesome. What do they know? How many got the bus? Yeah, so see, wasn't that fun? Wasn't that interesting? In the rest of the world, you have Chinatowns. Here in Brazil, you have Japantowns. In the rest of the world, if we see an Asian person, we ignorantly assume they're Chinese. In Brazil, if they see an Asian person, they ignorantly assume they're Japanese. Culture. All right, let's go ride the metro. station I've seen outside of China. And here at my side, you can see some of the insane traffic that Sao Paulo is famous for. Once again, you know, I'm not saying all of Sao Paulo looks like this, but look at this. This could be Hong Kong. Be New York, be London. Who knew Sao Paulo was this nice? I'd love to spend more time in Sao Paulo, but my flight is tonight. There's three airports in the city. Unfortunately, the one that I'm going to is ridiculously far away. Viracopos. It's like an hour and a half away. And that's if you take a $50 Uber. Let's go. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, né? 9h38 mais ou menos, a gente chega lá, tá? Ok. A very long time later, we're at the airport. If you look around, you'll actually see people wearing jackets and stuff like that. It's a little bit chilly here in Sao Paulo. We've come so far south that it's now winter. Let's go. 
find this flight. Flying on Azul. Azul Airlines. Alright, so I purchased some beverages. The trip back home. Got a couple of bottles of cachaça. I think this is supposed to be a good one. Santo Grão. I've come a long way since last year when I was trying to leave Mexico. I actually have some money now. So I can afford to put these bottles into luggage and then actually check that luggage onto the plane. So I get to keep the bottles. I don't have to like sneak them into my pants or whatever I did in Mexico City. I'm really moving up in the world here. So what can I say about Sao Paulo? It's like a cheaper, slightly more dangerous New York. With better weather and friendlier people. I was expecting people here to be a lot snobbier, expecting them to be different from the rest of Brazil. But to be honest, they were just as friendly. I was surprised. Anyway, I gotta go catch my flight. Vamos lá. Olá, tudo bem? Boa noite, qual é o centro?